evil <coughs> Greetings everybody, my name is Cream Sauce, And we are here today on the last session of Resident Evil 2 Such a bummer, but we have to do it Today we are going to play the extreme battle mode on level 2 because uh, level 3, as I said before, is extremely hard and will result in very boring commentary. So level 2 it is! So grab those tissue boxes as we say goodbye to this awesome game. Oof! We can pick our character! So we have Chris Redfield in this game. That's very nice. And also we're doing this in 60Hz again, uh, compared to last time. And this is one of the big differences that I really hate is that you can see we have cropped images. We can't see everything. That's what that's what happens when you play when you force 60 hertz uh, on the PAL version. But never mind. I want those fluent motions. So the question is: Are we going to play as the one girl? No. Leon? Maybe. But we are going to be playing as Claire. Because in this mode, we will find ammunition and stuff in the game, and she's the only character who has one weapon, so all ammunition you find is only for that. A hazardous virus has been detected inside the transport train. Return to the police press it. Fuck. Find the four special bombs located within and use them to incinerate all traces of the virus. Well, what if they like go out in the forest and hide? The bomb is not going to destroy the forest. Although unknown threats and terrorists will be encountered, Throughout your mission, the fate of Equestria, or a human mankind, depends upon your immediate action. Good luck! Oh, it's Slenderman! Watch out, kids! It's going to grab your dick faster than you can say tit for- Oh shit, never mind. So we are Claire in the laboratory, and our mission is... ...to get up to the police station and find four special bombs, which are randomly placed out in different spots. So it's going to be exploration. And in this ever game, you can save and you have item box and all that. So it's like exploring but still action packed. So we need to make our way back to the police station. But I am going to go here. Because all the different rooms, which you may think is a dead end, actually has items which will be very useful so you can kill all those tasty zombies that we will encounter through our adventure. Holy goddamn shit, there is a lot of them. Don't mind them, sir. Today is January 15, and winter has finally arrived for me, so that's about damn time. A little late winter, you suck, just like the spiders. Oh good. And today the new Devil May Cry game came out, so I'm going to play that with my brother later. And what the fuck, there is nothing here. When I did a practice run, there was something there, but not now. And when I say practice run, I mean like 10 minutes, because I want to check how, you know, everything. Oh wait, I can see it clear as day. It's right there. So as you see, all ammunition you will pick up is only for grenade launcher, because you can't find weapons. Oh wait, you can, you can find special weapons, as I know. You can find the submachine gun. And maybe the taser, that big electronic weapon. Oh no! I'm not up for that type of shit today. Uh, shouldn't we be heading to that room? I think so. Because we can just dodge them like the boss. You're so gullible! So I'm doing great today. I am. Um, I love this game. I love YouTube. I love big huge spiders! Mm! Blowing up them asses! Anymore? No. So I hope you're doing okay as well. Please let me know. Because I sure am! We got more ass browns. So you see, we can just pick up and stack up our, our ammunition without sacrificing space goose on the loose. And we are going to find four bombs. So we need space for that. That's why Claire is my favorite. And I don't think there is any, like, difference with their defenses, like in Resident Evil Remake. That was a bad shot! Shoot straight! Oh shit, don't bite my leg! He was going to. Not oh, this time! Oh shit, I thought he survived. No pony can so Holy shit, I can't imagine that that was possible. But I just did it. Well, that went swimmingly. We haven't made any progress at all yet. We're still on square one. 
not going to leave anything. Just continue and save all the acid shots for the liquors, super liquors, and uh, that's basically it. And maybe the kill man if we see him. <laughs> Why am I doing that? <laughs> that voice. You should really stop that and try to speak like a normal human being. Or else Clever never loved you as one of uh, her boy girlfriends. And speaking of girls, um, it has come to my attention that I might be a male. So I will have to man up and stop watching a girls show and do the things that men likes to do. Which is uh, football all day every week and stuff. This world is fucked up. And that was out of nowhere. Oh! But it's true, this world is fucked up and you can't do nothing about it, so you just cope with it by playing Resident Evil 2. Which is what I'm doing right now. I'm not going to kill. Fucking hell! Look at that, dodging skits! Aren't those tasty? The, re the biggest reason why I don't want to play level 3 is because it's so difficult that a crow bite puts you down to danger. And oh, dukes! Cute dukes! You see, the grenade launcher just fucks it up. They can't do anything. I'm going over here, even though it's the wrong way. I'm going to the freezer room, because the last time when I did a small testing, I got two acid shells uh, packs. Oh. You know, there can only be one Prince of Darkness. I hit him in the air, that was pretty sexy. Now it's time for you to die. Oh no! Holy shocking! Go inside. There was another one. <laughs> I shot both of them in the air. I like that. What do we have in this room? Acid shots! Don't mind if I do. Uh, nothing else, I'm pretty sure of that. Only a big huge spider! Big huge spider! I'm not going through that voice again. Because people hated that. So where are you? I knew there was one more. You can show yourself now. Maybe not. Maybe I was hearing things. I was certain I heard one of those uh, launching... Uh, yumps sound cues from those monsters. Oh, ho! Oh, oh! Yes! Ah! Shit, that kind of scared me! Oh, don't be- don't- Oh, I knew it! Okay, this is not good. This is so bad, I'm actually going to use the grenade launcher on crawling zombies. That's how weak I am! Any- Oh, yeah, we got a walking zombie. He's the walking dead! Anything new? Yes, grenade shots. We need everything we need to unleash the evil. Don't need to use violence, devil boy. <laughs> I love Devil May Cry 3. So much that I'm actually going to do a commentary series on that game sometime in the future. Even though it's one of those games which is very action-packed. And thus will result in very boring commentary as I... Focus. Uh, this is a room we have never been in, in this uh, whole series. And now we're finally going to enter it! But there won't be anything special. Unfortunately. Well, the scenery is pretty cool. There should be a monster in here. I'm not letting you deceive me. Show yourself. Are you serious? Is there... Is there nothing here? What the fuck? There was like two of those green things last time. But never mind. We got a green herb. For free?! Yes. So we do not need the flame rounds. And that's the thing, you can't really plan ahead everything in this extreme battle. Because there's a lot of things that uh, are random. Uh, for example, the monsters and the bombs. There's like eight locations that they can be placed in. And there's four bombs. So once we get to the police station, we're going to run around like an idiot. Until we find them. Yes. And it's divided in uh, three chapters. So the laboratory is the first chapter. Oh, I can see him. Look at him. He's slow, slow. <laughs> He's slow, slow. Uh, yeah, three chapters. So I'm going to make one part for each. Which means that we will end this part very soon. <laughs> so easy. Oh. Different music. I highly, highly accept that. Or appreciate that. Oh. All those green herbs. Okay, maybe level 2 is a little too easy. But we can't say that yet, or I will get cursed. I can 
feel it in my veins. Ooh, 22 acid shots. That's going that's going to last for a long time. And we do not need so many healings. We're gonna keep We're just gonna make our way back to the top, and the only thing that we can find that will take up space is healing items. At least I'm 95% certain of that. So yeah, two herbs and one blue herb. That would be enough. And we do have three of these ink ribbons. I think in level three you only have one. So that's pretty difficult. And we're not going to save just yet. Awesome music! Though you can get very tired of it once you go around in the police station and you hear the same shit over and over. Blue herbs? Thank you, Mr. Game. Now grab a cookie. Even though you can't because you're not a physical human being. Just like Claire. Oh, they're blocking my path. Let's see what my grenade launcher has to say about that. Apparently nothing, because we just ran past them. Oh, dodging Skilsen! Sound like German there. <laughs> Maybe not. I can't say shit because of all these songs. Okay, now. And here the first chapter will end. Boom! Scare the shit out of me! And look at that, it's rectangular. That's bullshit. Stage clear! Clear time, 5 hours and 26 minutes. No, 8 minutes. Fight to the police precinct. Oh, how do you pronounce that? Find out next time on Resident Evil 2. See ya, folks.